Hey, this is Grady with Grady Flabbin Attorneys at Law. We're meeting with Michael Sharp, the owner of Dynamics Driving School, located right here in Covington. And in this video, we're gonna be talking with Michael a little bit about defensive driving and things to look out for regarding driving safety right here in Covington. So I hope you enjoy the video. Mike, a lot of the videos I make for Flatman Law have to deal with defensive driving and, and anticipating the bad actions of other people and trying to avoid accidents that way. So as a driving instructor, what are some of the tips about defensive driving you can give to people? Yeah, I think the key word there is anticipation. When it comes to defensive driving, just because you know what you're doing, you can't assume the other guy knows what he's doing. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for this. People are highly distracted. You know, they could have, you know, something going on at work, the phone rings, the kids in the back. Well, that causes many things to happen. That causes a turn signal not to be turned off. That causes a stop sign to be ran, a red light to be ran. What you could do to protect yourself is a form of anticipation. So what we always recommend is any kind of intersections. That's where all these accidents happen, especially for motorcycles. Any kind of thing where a, there could be someone pulling out or crossover, keep an eye on them, keep your distance. You know, let them go first. Don't assume, hey, I'm going to you know, go through this light or I'm just gonna go ahead and take a right because this guy has a turn signal on. Well, that's where a lot of accidents happen. So it's really down to anticipation especially they got a lot of roundabouts in Louisiana now. Although that you can just cross in when it's safe and enter, the problem is if another car, you know, speeds up or they just don't wait on you. Let's say you're the guy in the roundabout and instead of them waiting for you, they just cut in front of you and then you end up rear-ending them. And when the cop shows up, it's your fault. So when I'm in a roundabout or when we're teaching a student, we say, hey, look, you see that entrance right there? That guy could cut in front of us. Let's slow down. That way, sure enough, this guy comes, cuts in front. We're already prepared and we keep going without an accident. So it all comes back to, you know, looking ahead and anticipation. Here in Covington, sure. especially on one, uh, Highway 190 where your driving school is located, yes. we see a lot of wrecks. What are some of the most common causes of, of wrecks right here in Covington? Well, as we know, Highway 190 is super congested. Um, you know, early in the morning around eight when people are going to work and then close to five when people are getting off. You know, it's, it's so bad, that's why they're building a bridge extension right down the road. But unfortunately, there's accidents every day on 190 and a lot of it is due to lack of attention people sitting in traffic and congestion, 190 backs up. So a trip that normally takes 10 minutes is now 45 minutes. So how do people fill their time? Well, they're not paying attention to the road, they're paying attention to their phone. So many people follow too close to each other. We always tell the students, leave at least a car length distance in between. That way, if we get rear-ended, we have room to slide forward. Well, as you know, on 190, people follow bumper to bumper. One person starts to roll, the other looks at their cell phone, bam. One car hits one, and then it pushes them into the next guy. So it's really people following too close. Even though traffic does back up, you still control your car. You can still say, hey, traffic's moving slow, I'm not gonna get too close to the next guy. So that's the one, keeping a safe distance. And two, people run red lights all the time. You know, they're in a hurry to go nowhere. You know, it doesn't matter if they're late for work, you know, church, etc. They really just need to slow down and follow the rules. Yeah. Um, the third, you know, goes back to 190 because the way they redesigned 190 years ago, they have, um, it's, it's, it is confusing. They have illegal U-turns and then right down the road, they'll have safe to do a left turn on red after you stop. So people confuse that all the time. What happens is people go to do a U-turn where it says it's illegal, where right down the road it was legal. So it's really paying attention to the signs. U-turns where it's legal to take a left on red that people forget 
sometimes the most important part is yielding to the oncoming traffic. Yeah, it's like, although, yes, it's legal to turn on left at the given intersection after you've come to a stop, that doesn't mean the way the traffic flowing means it's safe to do so. So what happens is some people, you know, they wait three seconds and go when another car is coming too fast. So what really hurts 190 is um, the U-turns. People are confused on the right and wrong, following distance in traffic, and, you know, not running these lights. Because as you know, when traffic backs up, they get real close to the light and it's getting ready to turn and then they go anyway Mm -hmm. because they don't want to wait another five minute cycle for it to turn back. Hey, thanks for checking out our video. And if you like this content and want more of it, especially related to the North Shore and driving safety, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave us a note. Thanks for watching.